Okay, let's have a look at some of the different versions of the Melodyne software that are currently available. You might already own one of these pieces of software or you may be on the 30 day free trial. The 30 day free trial is fully functioning and actually gives you the Melodyne for Studio. You can downgrade that to any one of these other versions to see how it works and what is available in each version. If you're looking at purchasing a version of Melodyne and you're not sure which one is right for you, this section of the course may help you out. So right at the bottom we have the Melodyne 4 Essential, which is sometimes shipped with digital audio workstations or audio hardware. And this is the bare bones version of Melodyne. And having used uh, all of the versions of Melodyne, I find it a little bit difficult going down to the Melodyne Essential as it's a very restricted version of the software and you just get the very basic pitch and time editing tools. That said, if you're a beginner or you just want those very simple functions, it's the most cost effective version of Melodyne or you may already have that bundled in with your software. Throughout this course, I'm going to be giving examples of how to use Melodyne using the Melodyne for Assistant and I'll be using the plugin version. This is the version that I use day in and day out and it's a single track version of Melodyne and it's perfect for vocals, uh, tuning instruments, fixing pitch and timing. Um, very quick, very easy to use. It's actually one of my favorite plugins um, for sort of editing and getting a really commercial studio grade vocal. Now the Melodyne 4 Assistant has unlocked all of the tools, all of the functionalities that you need to get the job done. And uh, although that it's a single track version of the plugin, which means um, when you open it up as a standalone or the plugin, you can only have one track at a time. You can have it on as many tracks as you want in a digital audio workstation. So quite often I may have a lead vocal, a backing vocal, uh, like a double and two or three harmonies. I can actually load up the Melodyne 4 Assistant plugin on all of those five tracks and then use them simultaneously. So the, even though it says it's a single track version of the software, uh, as, as is the editor, you can use them on as many tracks as you want. Now, when you get into the editor and the studio versions of the software, you get a lot more advanced features um, like the polyphonic editing, uh, direct note access, and uh, right up in the studio, it's, it's sort of like a digital audio workstation. It's a very advanced version. So we're not really going to be delving too far into those uh, really advanced versions of Melodyne. We're going to be looking at the Melodyne 4 Assistant mainly. That said, all of the things that I'm going to be showing you in the rest of this course can be applied to any version of Melodyne, with the exception of Melodyne 4 Essential, which some of the tools are actually not, uh, so they're, they're actually locked um, in this version. So you might not be able to say splice notes um, or use the formant tool or things like that in Essential. Um, but if you have Essential and you want to follow along uh, with this course, you can download the 30 day free trial and that's fully functioning and you can use that to learn all the concepts and at a later stage you may upgrade yourself.